dictators hope the most that you lose your hope. So one thing I want to reply to those dictators, I'm not going to lose my hope. We decided to form the citywide uh, student coalition uh, and then that led to uh, the, the movement spread into 300 cities in China. I think it's kind of fair for them to target me because I was one of the founders of the student movement. I was also one of the founders for the student organizations and then I was also one of the founders of the hunger strike. People remember the size uh, because at that time it was already uh, televised worldwide. Uh, there were so many journalists were in Beijing at that time covering after so many decades between Sino-Soviet relations was frozen. To remind people of uh, unfinished business in such an artistic way, it's something that I owe you a gratitude. I have to say thank you. The first time I started singing the songs from the show, I was like, this is going to be something. The students, knowing that they were going to die, said, at least we'll be remembered. And they weren't. And now they are, and that is very special. We want you to know that something resonates to me the most about those 50 days in Tiananmen Square. That is bravery, that is hope. And then of course, I give you a, a storyline, which we did well too. There was extensive research that Scott and Drew did for this show. Of course, it's a beautiful show and we, we, want, to, we want the whole world to know about this. And then Chinese government is helping us and giving us a perfect platform to say, see, we are still the big bully today. And then if you don't believe us, go watch that musical. I think, I think that's the message from Chinese government. I urge you to get it and watch the musical.